My name is Dwayne Dutrell, and I'm the principal at Hazel Park Preparatory Academy. I've been a principal there for five years, and we have our demographics is about 96.5% students of color. When you're a black male leader, I can speak for myself, it's just not a career, it's a lifestyle. People um, pay you a great deal of respect, and that's something I hold near and dear to my heart. It's really important as a leader that the people's voices are heard and they're respected. We may not always agree on certain topics, but as long as they're valued and respected, I think we can continue to do our work because this work is messy, especially when you're a racial equity leader and you're really looking at ways how you can disrupt uh, predictable outcomes of students of color and primarily African-American males. Because we all have these uh, implicit uh, biases um, and we just really have to unpack those as a system, as a school district, as a school such as Hazel Park and as individuals. And this is something that I've committed myself as a leader to do in the work that we're doing at Hazel Park Preparatory Academy. So we talk about race, we, 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 we look at our, uh, our biases, our, our implicit biases, and we look at ways on how we can uh, change the way we're doing things, change our practices, uh, change how we are uh, interacting with our kids and our families. We cannot think that we can do this work in a vacuum and think what's going on in the community is not impacting our schools. Uh, there's been numerous times where things that happen in the community has directly impacted Hazel Park Preparatory Academy. So we got to take time to do some social and emotional learning with our students and with our staff. And as a leader, we have to just keep our pulse on that. And, you know, sometimes we just have to pause our work, what we're doing, and really connect with our kids, connect with our parents, because we want to hear their voices, and their voices are important to us. And it's a privilege for me to serve my, com my community each and every day.